Yes, good evening, everybody. This is uh, another Pinot production. I think this is number 72. Uh, directed and photographed by Michelle Pinot, who's also my agent. And I am the star of the show, Jane Jazzy Pinot. Before I start, somebody that sits in front of us at the Ducks game, I won't mention his name, but he said I that I, I should be in a royal nut house. <laughs> And Teresa, this is for you. Okay, she knows what that means. That means I'm really nuts. All right, well, this is about my granddaughter, Francesca, who is, oops, goes to college. And she's a beautiful, very beautiful young lady. She does dancing so gracefully. She's like a swan. She's beautiful and she's very talented. And that Muhlenberg is the college that she goes to. That's the alpha I have on. So I want to tell you about a trip that we took to Muhlenberg to see my granddaughter. Actually, my three granddaughters are beautiful, and my grandson is a very handsome young man. Okay, on February 9th, my family and I went to Muhlenberg College to see my granddaughter, Francesca, dance. To see her dance, I was glad I had the chance. The dance, she dances with such style and grace. When she performs, I only look at her beautiful face. When she first started dancing, I watched her on her recital day. Now she's performing at college and she's came, she's come a long way. Okay, whether it's lyrical, hip hop, tap or ballet, she excels in them all. She looks like she's always having a ball. We had lunch in the cafeteria and the variety of food there was so much you would have, you could have your pick. If you tried to eat all of it, you would get sick. They had such one, they really had good food at that college. The college and the grounds were beautiful and the church there was something I wanted to take a peek. The college is in Allentown, so I won't be there next week. But Allentown is where there's a casino, so mm, there's a possibility. Okay. I heard they had a store there, so I go again, of course. I couldn't resist. I bought a sweatshirt and pants, a scarf, a hat. I can't find my earrings. I don't know where they are. I have to, if I had to do it, I would do it all again. We all had a great time. It's a blessing when all the family can get together. The day before, we all prayed for good weather. And actually, my granddaughter had gone to Italy just before this virus broke out and for at this college where it was going to be with dancing and everything. And she came home the day before everything started in. But I have to show you, not only has she got talent, but her grandmother and her aunt also used to tap dance. There's a glare. There's a glare. Okay. And I only started when I was about mm, maybe 60. It's probably, no, I think it was earlier than that. It's earlier than that? Oh, all right, whatever it was. Probably 50s. Maybe 50s. But anyway, we used we uh, competed in Atlantic City for the uh, senior group, and we won first prize. However, we were the only ones that were there that competed, but we still won first prize. So, um, I just want to tell you, you're not too old, too, you're old, too old to start things, and I had a great time tap dancing, although now, you can't do that. But anyway, I want to say God bless all the essential workers, all the um, first, first responders, responders, and all the uh, medical staff, and anybody who's trying to get rid of this virus. And please wear your masks to be, to be kind to other people. Um, they want to live too. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great evening, and God bless all of you.